Etcha Chan saw it. My name is Tsuji. When I was in grade school, I had a friend named Akane who was in the same class as me. Morning! Good morning! Tsuji, you're close with Azumi, right? Yeah, we both love manga. I see. But did you know? Azumi told me that she doesn't like you. What? No way. Why? Apparently. She said that you two just happen to like the same manga, but they are too clingy and annoying. I think it's only you who thinks you're friends. The next day... Sasuji! Oh, Asumi. My mistake! I thought you were my friend! I'm done with you! Huh? Goodbye! Bye. Hey! Wait, Asumi! <laughs> I realized that something was strange and decided to talk things out with Asumi. Luckily, our misunderstanding was solved. Because Akane told me that you actually hated me. Of course not. She told me the same thing about you. After that, when we asked Akane for an explanation... <laughs> huh? Did I say something like that? I don't know what you're talking about. And the conversation ended. After that, Akane kept saying stuff like that to other people. But she only targeted quiet kids who don't tattle much. In the end, she never took the blame. Ten years later, I am now a secretary in an office. And the reason why I'm remembering this story from way back then is because... Okay then, everybody. Let me introduce her. This is Akane, who will be joining our department as a new team member. Hello! Nice to meet you! That Akane suddenly appeared at my company! Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you! Oh! No way! Is that you, Sasuji? Oh, Akane... Wow, what a coincidence! Oh? You and Tsutsuji know each other? Yeah, we were in the same class in grade school. We were great friends. <laughs> uh, Miss Akane is a lively person, isn't she? Yeah, what should I do? But that was back when we were kids. I started imagining the worst case scenario. What if she tells rumors and gossips at her company? But I guess I'll just see how things go. As long as she didn't do anything, there was nothing I could do about the situation. But... Sasuji! How have you been doing, girl? Oh, um, fine. How about you? Me? I was having a blast in high school and college. Oh, by the way, you know the pink-haired lady Yuri that you're close with? She told me yesterday that she often gets irritated at you because you're so late replying to emails. She's doing it! So she hasn't changed at all. Well, I am slow at responding and there are times I can't answer right away. I'll apologize to Yuri later. Oh, I don't think you should do that though. I mean, she'll find out that I told you. I'm sure it's fine if you just be careful next time. This woman, she's gotten worse. And she's even stepped up her game. I think I should do something after all. Sasuji! Huh? Yuri? Is she upset? Oh, could it be? Did Akane say something to her? Wait, Yuri! Let's talk things out first! Sasuji! That girl with Akane is terrible! She came up to me smirking and started bad-mouthing people! Isn't it awful? Oh? Even just now! Why are you so close with Sasuji, Miss Yuri? Oh, because she's an honest, kind girl and it's fun being with her. Oh, but that's because she's two-faced. She was talking shit about your pink hair behind your back. Can you believe it? I know it's her who has a problem with my pink hair! Ugh, so irritating! I Yuri, you believe me? Huh? I know that you aren't the kind of person who would say that. Of course I don't believe it. Yuri... Huh? Miss Akane? Yeah, she did mention something like that to me, too. I heard her bad-mouthing some other people. So this happened back then. This and that, and... That explains it. What a dangerous person. Let's just leave her alone. If we ignore her, I'm sure she'll get sick of it and stop. I guess they're right. Let's just leave her alone. Yeah, that's right. We are all adults now. They won't just believe anything someone says without evidence. Sasuji, let's go for a drink tonight. Okay. Thus, everyone decided to pay no mind to Akane and her rumors. Time passed and it was now April. Everyone, this is Yuzuriha. She just graduated college and will be joining our team. Please be nice to her. My name is Yuzuriha. Please treat me well. She's so cute! Beautiful! Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yuzuriha! Hey, let's go drinking together tonight. Okay, sure. There, 
her there! What a good girl! Akane seemed excited that she found her new target. She approached Yuzuriha often and tried to become close with her. Yuzuriha! Hmm? Who fixed this document that we were supposed to edit later? Oh, I did it in advance. What? Really? I'm thirsty. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Miss Yuzuri is really good at being a help to everyone. I wonder how Miss Akane is going to attack such a beautiful hard worker like Yuzuriha. Yeah, there isn't one bad thing about her. Hey, so I heard that you had plastic surgery. What? Shh, shh. I heard Akamatsu talking about it. He said that she's got to be a plastic monster. How rude, don't you think? And I know it's not true. Yeah, I haven't had surgery. And Miss Yuri also said that there's no way your waist can be that slim when you have such big breasts. She said that you probably had surgery to have one of your ribs removed. Gosh, I never said that! And then Mr. Kirkusa also said that you're accurate with your work, but that you can be quite clumsy sometimes. Oh, that is very true. That's why I always appreciate Mr. Dokusa's support. He always kindly teaches me how to work more efficiently. Wow. Oh, yeah? And you know what Tachibana was saying? That you have a beautiful face, but... That I have a beautiful face, but I'm actually a slutty whore? I've already heard that from you before, Miss Akane. Uh, really? Then Kuroki was saying... Miss Akane, do you know what everyone else says about you, Miss Akane? That all the words you speak are pure lies and that we shouldn't believe them. Huh? Oh my, so you really didn't know? Who said such a thing? At the dinner party last month. Oh, that's right. You weren't there, were you, Miss Akane? Didn't anyone invite you? I'm sorry, I didn't think that they left anyone out. Uh, how dare you! Don't make fun of me! You're way younger than me, kiddo! Oh. Miss Yuzuria! I got your revenge, miss. We actually told Miss Yuzuria all about Akane in advance. So that's the truth of the matter. Even if she tells you that someone was talking behind your back, don't believe her. Okay. Still, I'm surprised y'all don't try to get back at her. How mature. Well, we only see her at work anyway. We'll just let her be. Not a big deal. Though everyone did say that. I'm still very immature, so I just had to get back at her. Well, it was really refreshing. Me too. Thank you, Miss Yuzuria. After that, Akane's attitude changed drastically. It didn't even take two years until she retired from the company. When I told that story to Azumi, my friend from grade school, <laughs> What the hell? That's amazing! I so wish I could have been there and seen the whole thing! <laughs> she found it hilarious. But still, I wonder what Akane was trying to do by saying such things. It's probably just what she finds it entertaining when people fight, or that it's exciting to see people get hurt. What a terrible person. Hmm, I still don't get it. I really hope that Akane learned her lesson this time and decides to live a more decent life. おまけにそれが誰も言っていない根も葉もない嘘ともなれば、もっと悪いイメージにしかなりませんしね。人から聞いた自分への悪口は安易に信じないようにしましょう。皆さんはどう感じましたか？コメント欄に書いていただけると